guys, I'm back from Mummy Dodo Science Time and today I'm going to do a super special experiment from Mel Chemistry. So in this Welcome to Science Kit, we can do the Tin Hedgehog Experiment, which is a metal hedgehog, hence the name, or the Tin Den Tray, which is a tree made out of tin. Cool, so we're doing a science experiment today with some chemicals, so it's more chemistry related. Um, I'm chemistry sure. is a type of science. Yep, I'm sure you all know the periodic table, mm -hmm. and we're going to use some elements from the periodic table. We're going to be using tin, we're going to use, be using chloride, we're going to be using zinc, and we're going to be using uh, sodium and also some sulfuric acid. So uh, in order to begin the experiment, of course, we want to make sure that we are uh, safe. So we wear the goggles and some gloves. And today we're going to be making a hedgehog from tin. Uh, we're going to use a zinc pellet to make that hedgehog. Uh, zinc is a metal. It uh, comes in uh, as a hard metal, uh, small uh, pellets. Uh, if you want to use it in an experiment, so we got here some tin pellets or small tin or pellets. zinc pellets. I mean, yes. zinc. So you see that it's shiny. It has all the metal characteristics uh, hard, that you have. Hard, solid. Hard, solid, shiny. Okay, and then we also have some sodium uh, sulfuric acid, and we have tin chloride. We're going to use all these uh, chemicals and see what we can come up with the hedgehog. So um, on the side, we also decided to use a penny. Because instead of zinc, we're going to try using a penny. Instead of a hedgehog, and create a different beast or a monster or something. We'll find out. <laughs> Not a monster, but a different uh, structure. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we're going to do is basically uh, put the zinc uh, pellet with the solution that we're going to create a salt solution and we're going to see how the ions or the electrons react and uh, form the ion and uh, have a structure change so the zinc pellets are smooth and soft and now when we put in the liquid it will change the structure after a reaction that happens and because we're going to do the same thing with the copper penny uh, in a little bit, uh, small uh, clear glass. And we're going to see how both of them change the structure. All right, Heba, go in, ahead. In the solution, we have some tin. Tin. Hence the name. And when the tin will react to the zinc, it'll form little needle-like parts all over the tin. All over the zinc pellet instead of just... Spread, spread, spreading smoothly all over. As you can hear, the thunderstorm outside. So we just decided to do this video because it's a perfect time. <laughs> yes, there is a storm right now outside, and you can probably hear that in the background noise. Yeah. Uh, but let's get going with our experiment. Yes. Uh, tin hedgehog. Mm -hmm. So first, what we'll do is take the sodium hydrogen sulfate or NaHSO4. All right, so before you touch any of these chemicals, make sure you have the gloves and the goggles. Always safety first. In anything you're doing, remember, safety first. So, let's take these caps off. Okay, now we're gonna pour the sodium hydrogen sulfate or NaHSO4 into the SNCl2 or tin chloride dehydrate. Dihydrate. Dihydrate. Which and you should notice that this is kind of like a salt. Mm hmm. So let's see the crystals. It's more like crystallized than a liquid. It's just like a salt because it has chloride in it and it has uh, reacted with the tin and became a little crystal in there. So we're going to take. Uh, our sodium sulfuric acid or sodium dihydrosulfate and put it into the tin chloride and uh, form a salt solution. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So once you uh, combine it, uh, the reaction starts. So then we'll change the cap and label it uh, so that way we know what it is in there. Yep. All right, so pour some of that solution into the salt. Do you have to do all of it or some of it? I'll do all of it. Yeah. Okay. So now we have a compound solution. Yep. And now it's It's the video said to use the red cap, not the white one. And so did the instructions. So that's what we're gonna do. And you're gonna shake it. Mm -hmm. It's just tight. Okay, now. So we are having a reaction in there with zinc and sodium. Listen to it shake. Okay. All right. Now I think we're ready with the solution. It's kind of like clear solution. It's more like a little white, transparent white. Kind so of. the tin chloride crystals dissolved in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take one of the zinc pellets very carefully. Can someone just drop it? Okay. That's two. Let's put one back. is the zinc pellet that we took. Now carefully drop it in the tube. Good. Okay, let's close this um, zinc so that we don't lose any pellets. Now, we'll take this solution, the mix of sodium hydrogen sulfate and Tin chloride. In the solution, take the one from the Ziploc bag. That's just very careful. It's already reacting. Oh my god, guys! I'm trying to be louder than the thunder here. <laughs> so let's give it a few uh, minutes or uh, at least some time for the dendrite uh, or the hedgehog to form. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, we'll use a copper penny. And a, fact, a fun fact about pennies did you know that? To make pennies, it's way more expensive than how they actually work because they're made of copper. Yep. So, nobody makes pennies anymore. So, all the pennies you have are kind of ancient. <laughs> Save them? Yeah. Alright, so put the penny in the cup. Put the penny in the cup. Drop. Now, let's pour the solution over the penny. That's it? Let's pour all of it. Okay, just a little more. That's enough. Okay. Let's see if it's reacting. The rest of the solution, I'll cover with the red cap again and the sealed one to make sure it doesn't escape. We don't have that happening, do we? Let's see. 
We'll take a close-up shot of it and see what the structures come out. We'll give it a few more minutes. So the reaction that happened was um, tin chloride with sodium hydrogen sulfate and uh, zinc pellet. So uh, this is what the reaction was. And we're also going to take a macro shot using because they have this little pinning microscope that you pin to the camera of your phone. So we're going to use that my mom's phone to take a macro shot of this. Yeah, we'll try to get a macro shot of this. So this is was this was the tin hedgehog that we just created mm -hmm. in this little container. container. And we'll put it out and we'll see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And we also did a side reaction to With see what the copper penny turns out and reacts to the tin in the solution. Yeah, copper and tin, tin reacting to the so sodium sulfate. As you can see here, the tin hedgehog and uh, like image of the other beast, like the rocky beast that would form with the copper. So now we took the hedgehog out, so you here can see... Here is the hedgehog. Here is a regular zinc pellet. So this is before and this is after. And then as, you, as you can see, nothing changed with the penny except that it's wet with the solution, but that doesn't count. Okay, so not much with the copper. The reaction was not so much with the copper, but with the zinc pellet. It, so you can see a hedgehog formed. It's like a zinc diamond. Should I see if it's squishy? Or see if it's squishy. Can I? Yeah. Kinda. A little. Not that much, but a little. So the see? tin ions are hanging around that zinc pellet. I'm gonna make so it's it. actually the tin that's forming that hedgehog. That's why it's called a tin hedgehog. Yeah. I made it like a cube. It's kinda squishy. See? So it's more malleable when it's reacting. It's more squishy. Malleable means soft. Metal when it's a little softer. Yeah. But just a little bit. <laughs> the core is still kind of hard like this. Is it sharp, Hiba, when you touch it? Not that much. Okay. When I touch it with the glove size. Okay, so you see the dendrites uh, sticking out, forming that hedgehog. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have gloves, this kit also comes with a pair of gloves. Cool. So this was an experiment with tin forming a tin hedgehog from a zinc pellet using Mel Chemistry uh, subscription plan. We yep. just got subscribed to it, and, and we used um, the like a monthly subscription for three months. So we get three kits. Oh, we actually did a whole year, Hiba. Really? Yeah. We're gonna do so many experiments. Oh my God, that's so cool. All right. Uh, it was fun doing this chemistry experiment. Feel free to. Subscribe to our channel. Um, please subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that way you can get notified when we make new videos and be the very first to watch them.